Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at SB5LetterChart.com. It's a little bit before 7 o'clock on Sunday evening, uh, August 30th, 2020. We're going to take a look at this chart. And wow, I've, I don't remember the last time where I was just so wrong like five days in a row. But, you know, that's part of the process. And I will confess that um, I did not see this week unfolding the way it did. And when we look at the chart, I think you'll probably go, well, that's understandable. Sometimes the markets just do something you're not expecting. So before we take a look, let me remind you, as always, that the website and the video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site when the video was intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and... Make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. And I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, the predominant theme coming into this past week, you're going to hear my computer make some little dinging noises in the background. Ignore it. But the predominant theme was we were in a rising wedge. In this rising wedge, yeah... I confess, it got altered a few times to sort of flesh it out. But the funny thing is, there was one line in this wedge that never changed. And that's the line of resistance. And, you know, I figured probably the way this week would unfold, we would either, this past week, not tomorrow, but the past week, I figured we'd, we might even just fail to get over all the all-time high, come back down to this and take it out. Or we come up here, tag this line, come back down, then take it out. Well, neither of those things happen. As a matter of fact, just about, uh, I think just about every day this past week, I said I think we're going to be down tomorrow. And instead, we were up on Monday, which could have gone either way, up on Tuesday, up Wednesday, up Thursday, and up Friday. As a matter of fact, it looks like after we got over this rising line of resistance, it looks like we sort of consolidated into a little cup and handle, which tells us we're probably going to have a, 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 a start of, to the next week that is positive if we trust this little pattern course, bear in mind, I was trusting this trend line. Now, one thing to remind you of, and we've talked about this for years and years, when you break out over a rising line of resistance, like we did this past week, you cannot count on that trend line providing support. You can't count on it the same way you would count on getting over a descending line of resistance. As a matter of fact, a lot of times popping up over a rising line of resistance is a, a bit of, uh, of a sign of uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. So we may be seeing some em emotional investors here going long and doing it at the wrong time. So let us just take this maybe as a slight warning sign that that we're that we're beginning to now attract the wrong kinds of people into the market. And what I mean by that is attracting the late comers. They're the ones who buy high and sell low. And this may be evidence of some buying high. Uh, we do, now that we're over this line, we do. I mean, we could get up to the 3,600s, really. I mean, we could put on another 110 points or so, and then we would reach another line of resistance. And if we blew out over that, then, you know, then, uh, then I guess you would say that is an absolute sign of what um, <clears throat> Alan Greenspan called at one point many years ago, irrational exuberance. So, there's that rising wedge, and like I said, everything in it, once we sort of settled in on a, on a, on a different line under here, which we did uh, this past week, <coughs> it 
Everything looked absolutely rising wedge. And then we go breaking out over the top. Go figure. So that made a monkey out of me. It made me wrong. And uh, I don't like being wrong. But I will tell you, usually when I, when I make a mistake like that in reading the chart or when the chart just does something else, Almost every time it happens, I look at the chart again and I say, you know, if I saw this same chart coming into this past week a hundred times, a hundred times I would get it wrong. Um, because, I mean, it is what it is. It looked like what it looked like and it projected what it projected, but then it did something else. So, what are we looking for coming into this week? Um, starting tomorrow on Monday. Well, like I said, it looks like we've got a little area of consolidation here. Uh, we had that dip on Thursday, a smaller dip, and that might might play out sort of uh, sort of as what, what we'd call a cup and handle of sorts. Or you could even say, yeah, let's make this blue so it stands out just a bit. Oh, there we go. Or you could even, uh, you know, draw draw this line here, and you could say, well, that's just, that's just a little uh, ascending triangle. We'll see. It's a tiny little pattern, and if there's anything in the news cycle that is uh, at all uh, a concern for tomorrow, I don't think this little pattern would survive any kind of negative news. Again, remember. These little tiny lines here are, are like just the tiniest, smallest of speed bumps. So, uh, but all in all, I mean, it looks like, it, 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 it just to look at it right now, it looks like, well, well, we'll probably head on up, you know, for 15, 20 points tomorrow. It's what it looks like to me. Um, but <laughs> what did I say every day this week? We're going to be down. 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 And wrong, 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 wrong. So tomorrow I say we're going to go up. Tomorrow afternoon I may be coming back and saying, hey, six for six. So anyway, that's that's just sort of where we are. In, in, the, in the bigger picture, though, I would still watch this line of support down here. If that breaks... Then and then and and let's be honest. This rising wedge never was confirmed by a break of support, and you don't really call it a rising wedge. As it's not a confirmed anything until that line breaks. So it's not like we got a confirmation and then it turned north on us in in a surprise reversal. No, it just didn't break down. As a matter of fact, it didn't even stay in the pattern. So interesting times. So anyway, that, that's, that's basically the, the week in review, uh, my confession, that I just totally got it backwards this past week. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that, let me, let me sign off, ask for your forgiveness. Thank you for taking time out of your weekend to watch this. And as always, thanks for your support. Take care.